Hello everyone, so welcome to another Python tutorial series and in this video I'm going to talk about the entity class and object and this is going to be tutorial number 9. So for the animations in games that I have developed so far for the Yusna engine, I usually just make an entity with some basic attrib attributes such as a model, color, scale, etc. And then we define the functions to animate the entity. We can also use OOP or object oriented programming and this is a technique um, that when creating an entity it will have functions or methods defined in the class. And there are a lot of benefits of using OOP. It makes the code cleaner, better organized, and especially when you have two or more entities. So I've used OOP um, in most of the Python videos I posted before. And if you'd like to go back and check them out, uh, you can. They're on my channel. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how to define an entity class and create an entity out of it. So first of all, let's open up our blank Python uh, folder, or uh, file, I mean, and let's import Yersna. So from Yersna, import, import star app is equal to Yersna, and app.run. So now we have created the basic structure of Yersna. Yersna. And let's also create an entity. So entity uh, model. So entity model is equal to quad. We're going to set the color equal to color dot green. So it's going to be green. And we're going to set the position at this of this entity at zero zero one. So zero on the x, zero on the y, and one on the z. We're going to scale it. So let's scale to one point five. And set the rotation equal to 0, 0, 45. And we're also going to set the texture equal to brick. So I'm going to save and run this. And here we notice that we have an entity at the center of our screen. And now we will use this entity as the background image. So now let's define an entity class for creating entities later. So above where we create our entity, let's create a class player of entity. So when we add the entity here, it just means that this is an entity class. We're going to define in it of self x and speed. So the x speed parameters are used to uh, are needed to be passed when creating entities. We're going to call super dot in it and the super function is used to give access to methods and properties of a parent class and here uh, the which is the entity class and now we can set self.model is equal to a cube we're gonna set self.color equal to color.red self.scale y is going to be equal to 2 and self.x is equal to x. And here, x is the position of the entity in the x coordinate. Also, self.speed is equal to speed. And the speed is just the moving speed of the entity. And now let's create an entity of uh, this class that we just defined. So, below this entity, let's have x is equal to negative 2, speed is equal to 10, and let's create a player. And this is equal to of a class player. We just add in our parameters right there. And so the x and speed parameters will be passed to the entity class when we create the when we create the player entity. And now if I run this, we should see a red cube to the left of the background image. And there you go. So now let's try to animate the cube uh, by adding the update function in the class. So I'm going to close this, and let's move back into this class. And I'm just going to run define update of self. And in here, all I'm going to do is whenever the player holds a left or right arrow key, I'm going to change the position, the x position of the uh, rectangle or of the prism. So self that x plus equal to held keys keys, keys, and then right arrow, 
multiply by time to dt time times self dot speed. So basically, when I uh, hold the right arrow key, it will move the um, uh, x position to the right. And self dot x and instead of plus equal, I'm going to do minus equal. Held keys. And now you can see that it's going to be left arrow times time dot dt times self dot speed. And now if I save and run this, when I press the right arrow key, we move to the right. When I press the left arrow key, we move to the left. And there you go, we have a moving object. Alright, so let me close this. And now let's try to animate the cube more by adding the input function in the class. So below this update function, I'm going to add in an input function. So define input. And the parameters of this input function is going to be self and key. So here, if the key is equal to space, so if the user presses space on their keyboard, I'm going to change the color to a random color. So change the uh, cube's color randomly. So self.color is equal to color dot random color. And all this does is that it chooses a random color and we set it equal to that color. And if the key is equal to R, if the uh, user decides to press R, all I'm going to do is rotate the cube. So self.rotation, and I'm going to rotate it around the Z axis, plus equal time dot dt multiplied by 500. And so if I save this, when I press the space key, the cube will have a random color. And here you see that I'm pressing space, and the color is changing randomly. And I'm also going to hold R, or press R, and you see that the block is rotating clockwise. There we go, just keeps rotating. And now, let's add in another key that's pressed. So, instead of R, if key is equal to 0, all I'm going to do is reset itself. So, I'm going to just call player.reset. Self. And here we need to create a reset function so that we can reset the cube to its original state. So here when we press the uh, 0 on our keyboard, we should reset, but we also need to create a reset function. So below this input function, I'm going to create a function called reset self. All I'm going to do is reset the values of the cube to its original values. So self.color is equal to color.red self.rotation z is equal to 0 and self.x is equal to x and so now if I save and run this and I change the color of this randomly I rotate a few times I move to the right and now when I press 0 it should reset which it does and here you just see that it resets to its original color red and position which is over here as well as rotation. So now it's not slanted. All right. To sum to summarize, in this video, I showed you how to make an entity class, define properties and methods in it, and how to create an entity from it. And this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.